So I want to talk about my preferred way of doing zooms. You can have earbuds or headset, which I sometimes do, but I prefer to have a really high quality professional microphone like a Yeti, which is very heavy and yet out of sight. And I do that by putting it in an overhead boom. That boom arm extends high and then it's mounted on the edge of my desk. That means that I can move this boom right over my head when I'm on a zoom call looking into the camera right at eye level and yet it's out of view but it's still picking up my sound because my mouth is not that far away um, and so this way I, I'm not encumbered with headsets or things in my ears and yet the sound is very close and very very high quality and the answer is this very heavy duty um, arm, extendable arm, which can hold uh, a heavy microphone or even a camera if you wanted to, and that's mounted to the desk. It's very handy, um, not very expensive, really heavy duty, um, and it works great. I look at my zoom camera, move my boom right above my head, it's just a few inches out of sight on the picture, um, and yet really high quality video all because of this boom which I swing back when I'm not using it and there it is I really like it thanks I've been carving spoons off and on for over 10 years and now that I'm stuck at home pretty much I've been doing a lot more spoon whittling I grab wood from trees in my backyard and uh, cut them roughly down to size with various tools. The biggest challenge is getting the hollow part of the spoon. How do you carve this hollow part out so that you get it deep enough? You can't do it with a straight blade. What you need is something that's called a gouge. Sometimes it's called a spoon gouge and you can see it's made in a certain way and you put this part in the heel of your hand and you just start gouging away. Now they're uh, fairly expensive. This one cost close to, to $40 and uh, I will have a, a link on the uh, YouTube, uh, in the YouTube description. This one is called the Feel, P-F-E-I-L, Swiss made 10 millimeter gouge bent number eight. And to use it, I'll show you how you do it. You just get the gouge in there and you just start Kind of cutting away here very satisfying to do it's a lot of fun um, the, this handle here is nice sitting in the palm of your hand so that you don't uh, bruise your hand when you're carving uh, the only thing that you have to watch out for is that you don't go so deep that you cut a hole through the other side of the spoon which I luckily have not done yet but once you're done do cutting it this way then you get uh, some sandpaper and smooth it all out but uh, it is a I must have it's one of the most important things if you have a a pocket a sharp pocket knife like uh, like this one that I use um, it's a case pocket knife and you have this nice sharp blade if you have that pocket knife and this spoon gouge that's really all you need to do to carve a spoon I love shopping at Costco and because I buy in bulk, and because I have a small pantry, I needed to make the most of my space. I found these amazing space-saving can dispensers on Amazon. They are easy to stock and easy to pull out what you need. These are made of durable, shatter-resistant plastic. You can fit up to seven standard size cans. You can use it for pet food, soda cans, or keep it in your fridge. These are made by M Design who also makes other kitchen and home storage organizers. And you can find a two pack for $29.99 on Amazon.